All right, so video update of the garden. Uh, it's a little bit dim out here, but I just want to do a quick one. So, a lot of good things. <laughs> Look at this broccoli. Holy crap. It's just growing and growing. The others are sort of, they've been nibbled on by some critters. Those two I still intend to transplant. Uh, we'll see. Tomatoes are getting astronomically. Look at those huge stems. Astronomical. You can see I planted those tomatoes a lot later, but it's going to be a great harvest. And here's these cabbages. We've got a bulb right there. And uh, this is uh, the evening's work. Feeling pretty good about this. Well, I mean, this is these are just all my rows, but you can see I got to thin that spinach and I mean I got I mean lettuce that's lettuce these beans are like my pride and joy right here this this line of beans um, bush beans they are all going to be I mean I don't even really have to thin them because they're spaced pretty nicely um, here's a nice row of lettuce a little bit further apart you can see there's more space here and then way over there is still the carrots those are carrot tops which you can see better at this end. Oops, there we go. See the, uh, oops, oops, dang it, I can't focus. Anyway, that's the carrot tops, yeah, so that's a good thing. Uh, those little guys in the corners, those are like collared greens, collared greens, and I, I already thinned them once. Uh, they're gonna need to be thinned again, but you can see just by thinning them how big they got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna thin them again. You can eat all the thinnings, by the way. You can just wash them. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to take, like, every other one out. And then they'll be about a foot apart, which is what the package recommended. And then they'll grow to their full potential, which is great. And the beans, I just, oh, they just produce all, all the time. Um, here, first is a little row of spinach seedlings. Very exciting, very exciting. So, so we have beans. Uh, again, there's a couple oddball plants here. I think that's Swiss chard. Not sure what that is. Those are two bean plants that I grew from seed that I just stuck there because I'm like, why not? You can see some of the collards I let grow there. Anyway, so I have this whole row of spinach. I think these have to be um, thinned to... I know the row... I think the rows are nine... Um, nine inches, uh, but I think the actual saplings themselves only have to be three inches. So a lot of them already are that, except for that little bundle. Those are not three inches apart. Um, let's see. But yeah, you can see, look at this, this happy little line of doot, 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 little sap, little, uh, um, spinach saplings. And then the pride, the, my pride and glory, whatever we, this is going to be corn. So I have one row of, of a yellow corn here. It's a hybrid. Um, it's a, so it's a, like a super sweet, what is it? I have two different kinds. Here we go. Aha! I found a package. This one has the top cut off, but... Uh, basically, the important thing with this stuff is... Yeah, right there. Um, one seed every four inches. So these ones are going to be a lot closer together. That's that short row there. Um, this short row is these or uh, yellow ones. These yellow ones, though, are uh, uh, sugar enhanced. They're, they're sugar enhanced. So I guess there's three types of corn because this one is different. This one I planted in this long row. And it says specifically on the back, look at this, super sweet. So that word super sweet is different from sugar enhanced. So these ones, so at the end of this paragraph it says, Seedlings emerge in 7 to 14 days. Isolate from SUSE. Isolate from super enhanced or SU. I'm not sure what that stands for. Well, so it says to isolate from sugar enhanced. So I'm not sure if this counts as isolation, and I'm not sure why it says that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have these sugar enhanced ones here, and I'm going to have these um, white super sweet ones over here. And it also says these have to be spaced further apart. Um, the spinach says it should be placed in rows nine inches apart. So that's about what I did here. I, I did basically a full foot. But then for these uh, 
<clears throat> oh, shit. For these super sweet, not sugar enhanced, for these super sweet white ones, it says that I have to do rows two feet apart, which means I can, and it says to do three to four rows. Um, isn't that what it says? Let's see. Uh, two to three feet apart in blocks of at least four rows, side by side rather than one long row. Yeah, I mean, I have one long row, but here's the thing. That place I marked, that's about two feet. Yeah, so I can have a second row go here, and then so you can see the third one is going to kind of... So I might just do like almost two feet, and then almost two feet, because... So if I go here, here, I have plenty of space here. I can do another one that goes... It just might end early because the cabbage is there. I mean, I did kind of this crooked thing here, but, mm, I mean, nature, it's fine if nature, nature does that shit all the time, right? So, so yeah, I'll get at least three rows of this kind going, and then they'll be isolated from this kind. I might just get another packet of seeds to do, like, the same thing on this side, a few, a few rows here, so I can have, like, at least maybe six rows total, like, three here, three there, and I think that'll create enough plants that they'll be... Um, look at Siggy. That's a good boy. Yeah, he's having a good He's like, Dad, it's so hot. It's so hot. Can you throw the ball or can we go eat some ice cubes, please? Please, Dad. Please, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. I feel pretty freaking accomplished about that and about the whole freaking garden. I mean, look at this. I got, like, onions growing. I mean, my friend pointed out to me that I can still, so I, I separated this onion and that onion. You can see they're separate. These two are still together. These are all bunched. I'm going to try to separate those bunches tomorrow um, to be more like, oh, well, look at this. I have a happy little sunflower. That was one of the mystery plants uh, that we didn't know about earlier. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do those onions to be more like these. Look at these guys. I split these apart, and I was worried, oh, they won't be able to survive. No, they're doing just fine, man. And I, I have some more on this side. There's one, there's one. Oh, and I have wild uh, garlic in my uh, other garden. Uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. Here's my little fig plant. I don't know if it's going to survive, but we'll have to check on that. Let's look at the... Uh, it's too bad I should have done this during the light of day, but this is my flower garden, Fleurs. Flowers are doing amazing. Uh, still have to weed that little area, but I weeded all this, this basically last week. That is not a weed, that's a asparagus fern. So that little bundle of what looks like grass, that is actual grass. I'll just destroy that. But look over here, this all looks like trash, right? This is not trash. There are a whole bunch of wild garlic. I don't know how. But there are tons of these garlics growing. Um, here's some. Here's some. Here's one. And if we go, look at look at all these. One, two, three, four, five. Just they're all over there. Tons of huge ones over here. So I have tons of garlic, and I think some of them are not garlic. <clears throat> here, this is an onion. That's clearly what that is. So last year I planted onion seeds, and I figured they all just rotted. I don't think they rotted. I think they're growing right here, which is interesting. Um, they could also be chives or, you know, just some kind of allium. But, uh, there are some more buddies right there. I watered these, even though they're all, there's all these weeds. I'm going to try to weed this garden and just have it be a, gar a garlic garden, because or a garlic chive garden. So, anyway, that's the uh, that's the story for today. You can see the apple blossoms uh, blooming, which is cool. Apple blossoms are blooming, baby, and the sun is going. Maybe it's time to go inside, boy. Go get that roll. Go get the ball. Dad, I don't want to get the ball. It's too hot for balls. All right, you jerk. Okay, so that's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right, come on, come on, go get it. All right, he'll get that one. Yeah, because he's a good boy. He's the best boy. All right, goodbye. Last look at the garden. Here we go. Oh, 
I'm proud. I'm proud of this beast. Yes. It's a happy little garden. Obviously, still tons of dirt, so still more to come. Have a good night, or day, whatever.